Hallelujah. How you doing? Glad to hear it. My name's Ida LaClea, and welcome to The View from Here. To my friends in the studio audience, thanks for dropping by today. Now, a couple years ago, I wrote a book called Finding Your Inner Moose, which is my guide to living the good life. It's based on the fact that you can learn a lot about life from a moose. My niece, Caitlin, helped me do the research, and oh God, we found out all sorts of interesting stuff. For example, moose can run 20 miles an hour for several miles at a time. So not only are they good swimmers, but they're long distance runners to boot. Now you'd think you'd be able to hear a beast like that coming from miles away, but they're incredibly quiet. Plus, they have the uncanny ability to blend into their surroundings. So moose move through their territory with speed and grace, all the while flying under the radar. <laughs> kind of like middle-aged women, am I right? <laughs> sure we're invisible, but it's amazing what you can accomplish when they don't see you coming. <laughs> Me and my friend Celeste Rita Betty Dot and Shirley, or the women who run with the moose as we call ourselves, call it going stealth. It probably won't help you get a mocha latte cafe grande at Starbucks, but it certainly frees you up to try new things. For example, last year we started taking a Zumba class down to adult ed at Moose Megantic High. You've heard of Zumba, right? Oh, yeah. Yes, that Latin dance exercise thing. Betty's the one that come up with the idea, of course. She's always up on the latest thing. She goes, Zumba's supposed to be wicked fun. Kind of like dancing with the stars, only without the skimpy outfits. <laughs> and without the cute guys, I'm thinking. Because <laughs> you can bet it's only going to be middle-aged women at this thing wearing sweatpants and t-shirts. That first night, there was a Twitter of excitement when this nice-looking young fellow walked into the gym. But it turned out he was just looking for a class in small engine repair. <laughs> Celeste goes, hmm. I wish I was a small engine. <laughs> vroom, vroom, Shirley replies. <laughs> All right, class, Monica, a teacher shout, is everyone ready to Zumba? Yes, we yell a tad tentatively. And boom, boom, boom. This Spanishy type music kicks off, and we are off and running. About halfway through class, I look over at Dottie, who's holding on for dear life. She goes, geez, I'm crow. I took Latin in high school. I thought this was going to be easy. <laughs> Tell me about it, Dottie. Now we know why they call it the hottest exercise craze. I'm sweating buckets. But once you get the hang of Zumba, it's wicked fun. I always stand in the front of the class, helps me see the teacher better, makes me pay attention. But with Zumba, not only is there a lot of cha cha and shimmying, oh God, I love to shimmy. <laughs> but there's a fair amount of pivoting. And when we pivot, I end up in the back of the class. <laughs> and it always makes me smile. Because as I turn, this is what I see. 15 or 20 middle-aged women, not caring what people think, moving it and shaking it and living la vida loca. <laughs> and they are beautiful, every single one of them. After class, I says to the girls, we need to figure out a way to take that Zumba feeling out of the classroom and into real life. No one's paying attention to us anyway, so why the heck are we worrying what they think? <laughs> they all agreed. Even Shirley, who looked more like she was doing Irish step dancing than Zumba. She goes, well, I still don't think some of those moves are legal in Maine. <laughs> but it was worth it to see Claudia PV smile. I didn't think she had it in her. <laughs> So when us girls are out and about and one of us starts acting small in the world, you know what I'm talking about. The rest of us will go zoom, zoom. Try it with me, everyone, and you folks at home, you too. Zoom, zoom. Again, zoom, zoom. Beautiful. 
Sometimes I have to zoom, zoom myself, if you know what I'm saying. For me, it works best if I put my hands over my heart and I go zoom, zoom. Then I cha-cha right and left, <laughs> shimmy right and left, again right and left. Take a deep breath in and sigh it out. Do it with me. Everyone feels wicked good. <sighs> Close my eyes a sec and I'm good to go. So the next time you find yourself acting small in the world in need of a little pick-me-up, just go zoom, zoom. If you're shy and there are people around, you can cha-cha and shimmy in your head. Or go to the restroom and do it there. <laughs> zoom, zoom really works for me, though. It helps me feel my feet back on the ground again and puts the focus back in here instead of out there. Oh, there's the doorbell. Must be time for my special guest.